Hırvatta! The failed uprising in Russia has demonstrated the risks the Kremlin faces from a protracted conflict in Ukraine, even though it did not give Kiev an immediate breakthrough on the battlefield. Ukraine has signaled that the main impetus in its counteroffensive against Russian forces is yet to come, with some troops yet to be deployed, and the operation so far meant to prepare the battlefield. The Ukrainian armed forces have halted the Russian advance in the eastern cities of Kupiansk and Lyman and are advancing south. Ukraine says it has recaptured eight villages in the early stages of its most ambitious offensive, but President Volodymyr Zelensky said this week's progress was slower than expected. Russia still holds swaths of territory in eastern and southern Ukraine, and Ukrainian troops have yet to cross the main defensive line Russia has been preparing for months. Today, more than 40 battle clashes took place in three directions of the front. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces said Russian troops put up a strong resistance, while at the same time, Russia suffered heavy losses. In addition, the enemy is trying to defend its position due to the continuous mining field. Serhii Cherevity, spokesman for the East Ukraine Armed Forces Group, had this to say on Facebook. Cherevity also reported that the enemy made three attempts to attack our positions in the Lemanokupian direction made 303 strokes. However, during the counterattack, the Ukrainian forces managed to eliminate 22 of the attackers and injured another 50. As reported, the Ukrainian defense forces are currently intercepting a strategic initiative and advancing near Bakhmut, Donetsk region. On Saturday, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry shared footage showing the 3rd Company of the 2nd Assault Battalion and showing the approach to enemy positions with an extraordinary tank operation. The video shows Ukrainian tanks and troops launching a multi-project attack on Bakhmut. The video also shows when Ukrainian troops attack and finish off Russian soldiers hiding in the forest and make some of them run away. As a result of the attack, Ukrainian troops managed to eliminate 25 Russian invaders and injured another eight. On the border, Ukrainian SBU special forces also managed to destroy 50 units of Russian equipment and more than half a hundred attackers in a week. In the Torian direction, Russian troops also lost almost three companies killed and wounded in a day, and 19 units of military equipment were destroyed. To date, the Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated about to 27,780 Russian invaders, including 680 people, in the last day. In the Vulidar area, Ukrainian military units also carried out active offensive actions near Pryutnoi and successfully fortified themselves in new positions. This led to a number of skirmishes in the area as the Russian Federation Armed Forces launched a counterattack from Staromyorsky towards Rivnopol. However, according to the statement of the military correspondent, there was no significant progress on the part of the Russian troops. According to Russian media, the Ukrainian Armed Forces continued to maintain a foothold in the territory of the islands located in the Dnieper Delta near the Ananovsky Bridgehead despite massive attacks by Russian troops from heavy flamethrower systems. The military reported that, despite the heavy shelling, part of the Ukrainian troops remained under the bridge. Additionally, additional Ukrainian reinforcements were moved to the area to step up the attack on the Russians. It should be noted that despite the efforts of the Ukrainian armed forces, the enemy group controlled a relatively small area. Apparently, the main task of the Ukrainian troops was to divert attention and force the Russian troops to deploy their forces to establish control in certain areas. Given this, it can be assumed that active hostilities and attempts to land troops northeast of the destroyed dam will begin soon. Meanwhile, the Russian media published reports that the American edition of Forbes confirmed significant losses of the armed forces of Ukraine as a result of an attempted counterattack on June 8 on the Vrimievsky ledge. According to Western experts, in a matter of minutes, the Ukrainian army lost a number of important military equipment. As stated in the Forbes publication, 
the armed forces of Ukraine were forced to retreat, having lost a large number of tanks and combat vehicles as a result of the counteroffensive. Experts say the total losses amounted to 25 pieces of military equipment, including 17 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, four Leopard 2A6 tanks, three Leopard 2R vehicles, and one Wizant mine disposal vehicle. The events on the Vrimyevsky ledge have become one of the most significant manifestations of the vulnerability of the armed forces of Ukraine in recent times. It should be noted that the loss of such quantities of military equipment could have a serious impact on the ability of the Ukrainian armed forces to carry out further operations. Most likely, it is for this reason that the armed forces of Ukraine have abandoned the tactics of breaking through to the positions of the Russian army and are increasingly using infantry. Russian media also reported, in the area of Serebri Anka village in the Krasnoly Mansky direction, there was an exchange of fire between various formations of the Ukrainian armed forces. This incident was caused by the attempt of some soldiers to leave their position without permission. This was announced by Enrimer Ochko referring to information from an unnamed source. According to a military expert, this sex change of fire may be related to the actions of the defense units of the Ukrainian National Guard, which tried to stop attempts by Ukrainian servicemen to leave their positions arbitrarily. In general, the situation indicates increasing tension and disciplinary problems in the Ukrainian armed formations. At the same time, Morochko has repeatedly stated about this case, however, the information was not confirmed by the Ministry of Defense although there were cases of conflict between Ukrainian units.